Inside for Coswell, oh. recently acquired in a trade with Bakersfield. Can't finish inside. You see Putney with the offensive rebound and put back, and then the block shot. He is averaging just under three blocks per game, third in the D-League. Sharon Johnson misfires from the corner. Martin. You're absolutely right. They are take the fourth most attempts per game in the league, just under 29. Now, of course, they play just like the Houston Rockets do, who are second in the NBA in three-point attempts per game. Elliot Williams answers back with a triple of his own. He has seven. This is Denzel Livingston. One bucket for him. Joshua Smith, former UCLA Bruin and Georgetown Hoya. Very prolific inside, 67% from the floor. Misfires on that hook. Yeah, when he misses a shot that close to the basket, it's it's newsworthy. Touch for he does, 67% from the free throw line. He's a guy who's averaging those numbers despite despite only playing 21 minutes per game. 6'10", 350 for his height and weight. One of two games in front of NBA scouts and execs and a lot of call-ups happened out of the showcase this year Elliot Williams and Lorenzo Brown got call-ups straight out of the showcase before they even played a game Darren Johnson short tracks down his own miss he goes one for two from the strike RGB already at 18 points on pace for 144 they put up higher scoring numbers than that in the past Williams blocked, but a foul. And we'll go to break. Archie in the first six minutes of the game. You mentioned the second and off attack. Count it. And the foul. Hoop in the harm for Jarvis three. And honestly, you could have a slam dunk contest just made out of Vipers alone with Raphael Putney, Chris Walker, three, and Karen Johnson. I'm sure that won't be the case. Uh, D League knocks it down from 12. And he got away with an offensive foul there, and you could see Threet immediately turned around to try to let the referee know about it. Arlino, the dribbling display. Three to three, knocks it down, and that's been an issue for him this yes. season. Just 19% coming into this game from bonus distance. Seven. Three. It's the screen all the way to the rim and lays it in. Jarvis three. That was former Delaware Blue Hen with the bucket. A gorgeous move. He just get out of the way and not try to stand in there and take a charge. Putney's put a few guys on posters in his day. Williams around the defense and makes it in. So crafty, the ability to escape the double team along. Walker missing the turnaround. 12 points for Williams already. Trying to set up Juan Lele, who hands the triple. And they're going to review that to see if it. Carlino attacks. Rejected by Juan Lele. Six to shoot. Cummings penetrates. Good defense from Santa Cruz. Del Jones with the right into the shot. It's just like a pregame warm up shot. He matches his number with 13 points. Now here we go, Putney. You know he's going to attack Looney right now. Nice crossover. Oh, oh. Tried to jam it down. No foul call. Now, see, if he had made that, that would have been a 10 in my book because it would have been on someone right now. Nice crossover. Oh. Oh. Tried to jam it down. No foul call. Now see, if he had made that, that would have been a 10 in my book because it would have been on someone. Looney can hit that shot. Just strong. It was on target. 42% from distance at UCLA in his Wednesday. He's got good touch around the rim. 10 points and four rebounds in his Santa Cruz Warriors debut. He has 71 games of D-League experience coming into this contest. But just too much meat on the bones of Joshua Smith there down low. Yeah, Three good, attempts. Good luck trying to defend that. Cool for a violation of team rules. He kind of found himself entering a situation where he wasn't sure what he was going to do. So he was 
drafted in the fifth round of the D-League draft and got off to a little bit of a slow start last year, but came on extremely strong over the final 14 games for RGV. He averaged break threes. That's right wing to left wing. He has more than 60 of them now, including this game. That one a little short. And to be honest, Brewer overhelped too much there, too, off the dribble penetration, kicked it out. Putney could have taken the... That'll be his second. Johnson walked to the free throw line. He thought he was going to get a couple freebies. You usually get continuation. Denzel Livingston misfiring. In professional basketball, that is. College Ballot has already named its team. The Greensboro Swarm. I like it. First Southeast team in the D-League in quite some time. Before the league originated, every team was in the... SEC footprint. Three short from Jaron Johnson. Santa Cruz down by two. A chance. Well, for three. Thought about it. Five on the shot clock for the Vipers. Deep three from three off the backboard first, but tapped right to Jaron Johnson. Baseline drive, and he's fouled by Hobbs. Level. Tyler Junior College just produced a couple of pretty good pros. Robert Pack back in the day, and most recently Jimmy Butler. I'd say he's having a nice season. And another offensive rebound, and that's a foul as well. Hobson reaching in. Putney to the line now. Foul. Got a late start on his professional basketball career as a result. Putney high archer. Hobson fakes away down. when he released that shot. Nice little flare action to get him open, giving yeah, it a block, a block yeah. instead of a steal. But all three free throws good for Denzel Livingston, who has 18 points. Livingston has never played for a team outside the state of Texas. Much needed bucket for Verdell Jones in Santa Cruz, his second field goal of the team season. He averaged a double double last season. Has a double-double tonight, but he's 0 for 4 from the line now. The lead still at 6 for RGV. Cummings, a step back, 3. Good. Big That bucket. might be the best individual rush wall dunk, and I think you'll probably see Santa Cruz go back to that with Elliot Williams. Cummings killing the clock as much as he can before trying to post up Smith instead for 3. Now they get it to Joshua inside. Baby hook off the mark. And a foul. Five-point game. Santa Cruz still in this. Yeah, still a long way to go. Putney thought about it. Eight to shoot for Cummings. Attacking crap gets around him. Blocked by Coswell. Here comes Williams. It's tied up in the Jaron Johnson. Up top to Cummings. Eight on the shot clock for the Snakes. Has Jones on him. Gets the screen. Two to shoot. Has to hoist. He does, and Koshwal snares the miss. Still enough time for Santa Cruz just to get the ball to go in. Eight on the shot clock. Kraft trying to get the steal. Three slips. Has two to shoot. Loses the handle. Out for Williams. Drives to the rack in the reverse layup. Ties the ball game at 109. give each team that much time. Santa Cruz is 2-0 in overtime games this year. Now, will Santa Cruz go double Josh Smith again? Smith inside. Too strong. Koshwal another rebound. Now, the Warriors dodge a bullet there. Josh Smith once again. It's now for Koshwal. Plays college ball at DePaul. Here's Kraft. Storms to the rack. Out for Jones. Three on the way. Short. Hops in the rebound, goes up to the left, misses, and a foul. Now, I'm not sure if that is Joshua Smith. Williams, the man of the night for Santa Cruz. His first game back after 10 days with the Memphis Grizzlies. Played in five games for the Grizz, almost poked away. Koshwal for Jones. Koshwal recovering. Jones the lay-in. Well, sometimes you got to be lucky. 
incredible instincts by Kraft. He was just staring at the basketball the whole time. And you just cannot bring the ball anywhere near Aaron Kraft without feeling a little bit uneasy. All alone in the corner, it's Kraft for three. And a timeout for this third. To see the ball thrown into the block. And it looks like Chris Walker is just going to sprint up. But here's three. Three to play. Sizing up Jones. Driving left. Off the glass. In and out. Oh, he almost had the buzzer beater. Including the next ESPNU broadcast on February 9th. Hobson. Eight to shoot. To the hoop again. Tried to go up with his right. Gets it back. Can't muscle it home. And poked out a play off Santa Cruz. Hobson was looking for contact the whole Dribbling out the clock. They got to go. Jaron Johnson posting up Smith. Backing down on Koshwall. Turns, gets it to the cutter. Johnson, too strong. The tip is not there. Koshwall the rebound. The gets game. it away. And Santa Cruz hangs on.